I always loved you. Dying to fire. Next Tuesday. <clears throat> yeah. What? What? Dude, you're never going to believe this. What? Got a show I got to go to. When? To uh, In eight hours. Dude, I'm so excited. I don't have a flight for like a week. Mm. What's that like? <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel I'm feeling like Ernest Smith right now, baby. You feel like what? Feeling like Ernest Smith. It's <laughs> awesome. Hey, what are we calling this thing? Um, I don't know. I saw a couple. Hold on. What? Ernest G. Smith. Oh, my God. This is the photo. <laughs> no, those were the first ever, the the first ever Diamond Club. As he was there at the founding of the Diamond Club, man. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Enter the ad dragon. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I guess, I mean, can I even read the billboards? No, no, ad dragon. Uh, we'll see if we, uh, I mean I'll read them where we can have ad drag. You don't touch the ads, Justin. That's hard and fast. That's not my rule. That's uh, that's just how it's got to be. So I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and I'll title this thing. Uh, Hitler has a tan. You think Hitler is that good SEO? Um, let's see. Uh, what else we got? Ernest on a buffalo. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to say rise of the ad dragon or anything because you know that that was a good surprise. I was surprised when the ad dragon showed up. Wait, who hired the ad dragon? I don't know. If you don't know about it, I'm just saying how to train your ad dragon. <laughs> NSFW on a buffalo, the birdie poop blues. <laughs> Can we do I like birdie, birdie poop blues? Well, I, I I don't know that they're gonna want poop in the title. Um, let's see. Ernest on a buffalo. Ernest on a Buffalo. All right, we can do that. All right, here we go. This is NSFW episode 165, recorded on Valentine's Day 2013, Ernest on a Buffalo. On this edition uh, of uh, NSFW. Uh, 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 I'm not, uh, I guess the summer well, no, I, okay. I do. I do the, the, the so, summer. So, so I'm just saying, yeah. just keep it cool, man. Keep it. All right, come on, that, Jesus! Our, don't our, treat me like a cripple. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't want to, you know. It's, we got a thing. All right, on this episode of NSFW show, we are joined by Jomo of the Possum Posse. We got a big announcement on South by So Wasted Two coming March 9th in Austin, Texas, during South by Southwest. We bring a little sunshine into Ernest Smith's life. Who's that? You're going to find out. All coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. All right. Now, if you don't mind, I will do the ad reads at this point. Uh, let me see what the billboards are. It's weird because normally... Hey, Brian, don't worry about it, y'all. Is that, is that who I think it is? Really? Yeah, you know, I was just hanging around. I figured that uh, I could go ahead and read the uh, the ad billboards. You ain't got to worry your pretty little head. I can go ahead and do it right now. All right, go for it. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Pont5, the world stock media marketplace. If you're a media maker looking for video, photos, illustrations, music, sound effects, after effects templates, or 3D models, check out Pont5. Ever an exclusive 50 free stock media files, go to Pont5.com slash NSFW. That's that's hey, pretty good, on, Ed Dragon. Brian. There's one more I gotta read. Just yeah. don't worry about it. Hold on. All right, whatever. Look, uh, we don't want anyone thinking that it's actually just Justin's not allowed to do the ad. So if you could just be, just say <clears throat> and or something like that, something you know. Not, oh, don't worry about it. Hold on, I, I can take care. All right, of it. All right, no, I'm sure you do. You're you're a pro, Ad Dragon. That's what we always say about you, old Addy McDragon. He's the best. And Audible. <laughs> Download a free audio book of your choice. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I accidentally started. Brian, you laughed during. I'll tell you what. Listen, I'm an absolute pro here. You're just gonna need to just, just give me a little space. I'm give sorry, it room I need. To, I need to do that. You know, you're right, and I don't do that, and I apologize. Take it away, Adrian. Hold on. Here we go. And Audible.com. 
To download a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash NSFW. There we go, Brian. Is that good? Hey, Jammer B, is that good? Yeah. See? Look at that. That letter perfect. That's what's great about the ad dragon. 100%. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. I almost... Sorry, I was just itching my head, Brian. Sorry, I had a little itch on my head. Okay, get out of here, ad dragon. Freak back. I love you. Hey, Brian, it's just a pleasure working with y'all. Did, hey, <laughs> I, can we get a second read on the audible? I didn't hear the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's get let's get the whole thing on the on the audible ad dragon. Apparently, there was a technical issue. Uh, okay. Hold on now. <laughs> the billboard here just says uh, and audible dot com to download a free audio book of your choice. Go to audiblepodcast dot com slash nsfw. Does that sound right, Jammer B? Yeah, that, I got it that time. Yeah, we got it that time. Here we Man, go. Ad Dragon. Well, hey, now, y'all, I'll tell you what. I, I, it's just being an absolute, uh, I feel like the, the 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 debutante of the ball with y'all. You guys <laughs> are just an absolute trip. I'll see y'all next week. All right, get, all, get out of here, Ad Dragon. Oh, beloved, as always, that Ad Dragon. Uh, Justin, I mean, look, I, I don't want to I don't want to get you fired up or nothing. I'm just saying that, uh, I mean, that's that Ad Dragon. It's just weird. It's so weird pro. not being on the show. He's so pro. Like, he's so good. Like, I just wonder, did he go to school to be like that? Does it come natural? He's so great. I mean, like, that used to be my thing. I used to, it used to be the ad. But you want to know what? I, I, I'm sure we'll see, you know, who's who's better at reading ads. Maybe we can have an ad read face-off yeah, dude, dude, at dude, South dude, by uh, So I, Wasted. But you know what? We, we can do that at South by So Wasted. That could be a face-off. You versus uh, I would be extraordinarily interested to watch a face-off between you and Ad Dragon live on stage. I will live on stage at the Eastern. I'll tell you what. I think I'm gonna. I'm calling him out. The what? Ad Dragon. This is me, Justin R. Young. I'm calling you out. Bring your, your your yellow belly <laughs> behind on this is down not, to the it's not a good start when you can't enunciate your words. That's not a good way to get things get started. Get out of my face, Brian. I'm trying to issue a proclamation of destruction in the direction of that. Uh, I mean, listen, I'm on, I'm going to say some things that would not be taken kindly in a in a post homophobia America about the Amazing. ad dragon. Uh, okay, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna save all this. Take it this. Stopping it. Saving it, boss. Uh, all right. I do have to leave, though. Oh, wait. You don't have a flight in four, five, seven hours, but I no, do. No, but I have a, uh obligation because it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> all right. Bye. I love you. I love everybody. Bye. Except for the ad dragon, apparently. Oh, God damn it. Shut up. But the Ad Dragon. I'm just saying, Ad March Dragon. March 9th. Better put it in your calendar, Ad Dragon. Jay Brushwood, you're on the air. What's going on? Bye. Hey, uh, I was wondering if I could Skype in, dude. Why not? All right, I will. Do it. I dare you. Uh, a double dog, Valentine's Day dare you. <laughs> Valentine's dare you. All right, this is going to be good. Call, call in on, uh, on NSFW show. <laughs> All right, this will be good. We'll do this while we're rendering out the video. One, uh, six, five. Jomo. What's this talk about the creator camp? I don't know the words. This is so embarrassing. He's probably, Jomo's probably watching the show. be like, You're messing up my song, man. What's going on? Uh, let me do... I don't know if Jay is calling. Here, I could try calling Jay. There we go. Boop, 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 boop. Jay got some lights set up. There we go. Pop this up. Hey, bro. What? We can actually see you. We can't hear you, though. <laughs> Jay, Jay looks like a, uh, a Keystone Cops caper from the... Uh, <laughs> from the... Uh, uh, here, we'll pop this down. Uh, I don't, I don't know what you got there, bro. 
Nope, can't hear you. You got the wrong device selected. You got to change your device, bro. You got to change your device. Oh, my God. We can actually see you, Jay. This is a side of you we've never seen, the side that we can see. Uh, what if I did <laughs> this? How do I make this? How do I pop out video on these? I don't know how to do that thing. Oh, well. Jay, you got to select a different device. Oh, wait. I hear something. Whoa. Hello, bro. Hello. Hello. We hear your room mic, not, not this one. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hey, bro. What's going on, man? All right. I I got to figure this thing out. That's, I don't know. That's all right. Well, if you go, uh, you can figure it out now if you go to uh, uh, here. If you go to tools and then select options, you can over here go to audio settings and then you can select which audio device that you're on and then uh, and it'll switch that on. You want me to do that again for you? No, no, I, I got it. All right. What kind of what kind of uh, microphone is that? Is that a USB microphone? Oh, are you there, bro? Wait, what? Two words sounds like waiting on it. Mustache squishing. Peel apart. Okay, keep sure. I'm not. I I don't know what this means, but I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh this is an Archer All right. Photoshop. I'm, I'm giving up on the microphone, dude. All right, that's fine. Holy cow, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, I believe that came from Padre SJ. Hey, bro. How you doing, Jay? I'm doing awesome, bro. Man, I had a really good time hanging out the other day, watching a regular show. Regular. Ham boning. Uh, Wait. You going to mug me? <laughs> Dude, I'm shocked at how you be. Have you, uh, Brand, have you, here, uh, throw yourself a microphone. Get on the mic. Get on the mic, Mike. Uh, here we go. Here, talk into that. Hello. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Have you have you watched regular show? I have not. Have you you've watched Adventure Time though, right? Yeah. Um, why don't you watch regular show? Because I don't have that channel. I don't have TV. It's very honest of you. How how are you watching the Adventure Time then? Well, well, don't give me that devilish grin because I know what that devilish grin means. That I, means you're a naughty butcher. Uh, dude. There is a, a, a really cool website called like Watch Cartoon Online for free or something. I don't know. <laughs> Dot XXX. Um, <laughs> no, it, it's cool. It's awesome. They like they uh, stream all their their content, and I mean that's how I watched like the first. I watched like the whole of Legend of Korra like uh, that way. It was awesome. Well, I know was... that the Legend of Korra they would they would come out like every every day following they would uh, they would have that be available. Uh, but I'll tell you what, man. Like uh, uh, real quick, let me ask the chat room and I'll I'll put them up here. How many guys? How many guys watch uh, regular show? There you go. Just just give me a give me a quick yes no on if you watch. Never, no, 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 zero, 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 zero. One guy says, Mordecai, rig me. Mordecai. Rig me. Oh, my. <laughs> you're a turd. No, you're a turd. Boys, we can both be turds. Um, butterscotch ripples. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so good. Uh, Curly says, I started after you wouldn't stop talking about it at Sushi. It's hilarious. Want to give a huge shout out to Curly, who was there that night. You were there for that night, Jay, too, right? I was there, yeah, Brian Curly. It was amazing. Was good night. It was, uh, yeah, it's way, way good. <laughs> Mitsula says, welcome to the portion of the show where two grown men talk about daytime cartoons. <laughs> yes, and they're awesome. Uh, Chad, are you there, buddy? I am. So I'm, I'm doing um, ninja stuff. So uh, you guys are still on the stream, but I'm sending you only my video. Oh, awesome. So here, I'll, I'll uh, boy, that is awesome ninja stuff. I'll, I'll put you up here when you're talking, and then soon I'll be able to switch again. Curly uh, was so excited to meet you guys, by the way. 
And dude, it was awesome seeing him, dude. It, he brought like a posse of women too. That was amazing. That guy is a baller. That's the <laughs> secret of Curly. Um, and he said that uh, um, him and Jay were like, you know, like two brothers separated at birth. He yeah. died laughing when you stole Brian's beer and then you started singing, "You, you got what I need." <laughs> Did you say he yeah. just? <laughs> It was amazing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it was a, it was a good night. Here, look, I could throw you over. <laughs> it, it it was a great night. Like uh, it was great seeing everybody, and uh, I had lots of lots of good good talking. I didn't was, know you moved down to uh, to to Southern California. Yeah, no, he's he's San Diego at uh, Sony Online, right? San Diego. Yeah, he just he just launched uh, Planet Planet Side Two. And uh, mm-hmm. now he's kicking ass there. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, Brian, here's an interesting thing. Um, at work, they're like, "Yeah, we're you know we're we're doing this thing where I don't think I'm revealing anything because they're actually doing it, but they're doing this thing where um, they uh, tweet question, you know, say, "Hey, we're going to be interviewing." Uh, Matt Broom, the uh, character art director, uh, for next, you know, next week's interview. Uh, tweet in your questions, and we'll make a video and publish it once a week. And so, basically, we're we're gonna start doing that. And anyway, I volunteered to do one. Oh, that's and, great! It's like it's like an AMA type thing. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, hey, uh, you know, we just came out with this update hear somebody who's kind of involved in that update and ask questions on process and how you came up with it and yeah 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 it's pretty cool Dude, that's I'm, awesome I'm uh really jacked real quick somebody in the chat room uh posted this video and it's an old video and normally i harp on old videos but take a look at this um there is a living creature this is from science friday uh posted it or it was on sci-fi. I'm sure it's been handed around a million times. I'm sure just like- I, who originally took it had nothing to do with Science Friday. But um, tell me when you can see what the hiding creature is here. You probably don't notice anything yet, do you? Still nothing? There's a... Mm, no, don't know. There's a, there's a fish right there. Oh, it just okay, went off no. the stream. <gasps> what? Oh, what? Is that amazing? And then the ink squirt. Do that again. Yeah. <laughs> squirt me again, bro. So good. It's so remarkable. Happy Valentine's Day. Like, even though I know it's there, I don't see it. Yeah. No, you can kind of tell it's right here. But then that moment that it's like the predator and it just it's goes. Like, oh. It's amazing. Wow. Like, like uh, this guy's an artist. He looks at that stuff so closely. He's like, I know what I need. A little bit of speckle here. A little bit of dapple over here. You've angered me. <laughs> Get away, man! If I was, God, that would freak me out. If I was Aired close freaking, to it, right? yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I like, I like this shot of the three, <laughs> and then nothing. Here, I'll move Jay over here, and I'll put Chad right here. I like your ninja work, there, Chad. Thanks. Hey, whose idea was the Harlem Shake? I. Uh, so the original were are you talking about Twits or yes. the I'm talking about Twits? Um, I thought we were doing the see no evil, hear no evil thing, but uh, uh yeah, no, that that that's what I did. Yeah, so, uh, like yeah. Wait, say that again. Was it? Are you talking about Twit or? Yeah, yeah, Twits. Yeah, it was mine. Totes. Yeah, no, I figured that's the case. How how's it been received so far? You know, I haven't actually followed up on amount of views or comments or or anything. I just it, I've been so busy. I just kind of made it happen and then walked away. It's just here it is, internet. Enjoy. All right, you want to know? here here it is, it, internet. Enjoy. It's raining spiders. What? God, that would be the worst. Oh my God, are those in the air or? They, they, they've created webs everywhere. Dude, that's that William Shatner movie. I know, Where dude. The Kingdom, of, Kingdom of the Spiders. The what was that movie? Kingdom Arrow. of the Spiders. What? The, Kingdom of the Spiders. They killed so many spiders in that. What the heck is this? These spiders. Are dude. these... 
this is the real life of this thing right here. Take a look at this. This is the movie that scared Jay and I. We watched it over and over again. Is that the whole movie on YouTube? Oh, my God. I think it is. <laughs> Jesus. Has the copyright expired on it? <laughs> How, I didn't get to see the TRT. Yeah, dude. The TRT is... is, is God. It's posted like three times. I guess Dimension Pictures doesn't really care, isn't around to take it down. Start with the uh, there's a dumpster, and then um, the very end. No, no, dumpster's way earlier. You were you were near it towards the beginning. Um, then, <laughs> Look at this. Whoa! The very end. The, we need to watch the end scene at least. Is well, that okay. who I thought it was? Yeah, it's William Shatner, bro. Oh, you said it, and I didn't even. <laughs> Just spiders come in. Dude, what's killer. crazy is that's not even the amount of spiders that are in. Oh, you just wait for it, son. That. All... That's scary. Yeah. Spiders! Man, that used to scare the crap out of you when I was a kid. Dude, it's so many people have this posted. I wonder if this is. Uh... Brian, Brian, go please go to the very, very last. No, scene. no, no! I'm not tipping the end. Oh, here we go. This is the ad. This is the ad for it, though. Fiction becomes science fact. <laughs> if you find any problems, have to go over, please. Just keep it to yourself. What? Before snakes on a plane. That's right. There's spiders. Thirty hills, just like the one we burned. I mean, this right here is scientific phenomenon. As you know, all species of megalomorphs are cannibalistic. If you put them together, they'll kill each other off. They just don't colonize like ants or bees do. <laughs> you can see them run over so many spiders. Yeah. Destroying anything in their path. Why did they come? What do they want? In the tradition of the great science fiction thrillers, Dimension Pictures presents Kingdom of the Spiders. <laughs> yeah! Starring William Shatner, <laughs> Tiffany Bowling, Woody Strode, and introducing Alfredese Davis. <laughs> Kill him with bullets! Have organized themselves into an aggressive army. I've never seen anything like it. One minute they weren't there, and the next minute they were everywhere. Jump out of girl! <laughs> Man, none of us will be a baller like William Shatner. There's thousands of them out there. We'll never make it. Why haven't we heard from the sheriff? He must know we're trapped in here. I'm telling you, we should chance it. Brian, <laughs> you need to get William Shatner on the show. Your nightmares will get on never there. be the same. Kingdom of the Spiders, the next victim could be the you. The chat room needs to get on that. Yeah, Did you hear um uh this I heard this through Twitter. I haven't actually watched it, but um Smodcast, he gave a shout out to Twit last did? episode, yeah. So Wait, someone, what did he I I haven't actually listened to it. Uh well, I he I, he's over Twitter said that uh, he's a fan of Leo Laporte and he's a class act and you know, he's agreed to be on NSFW before. <laughs> that actually happened. We have I do remember tweets. that. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, I've actually um, the guy who I know that used to book all of their live stuff is going to be at this conference that I'm at next week or in, in a couple of days, and uh, uh, I'm going to talk to him to see if there's some awesome cross promotional stuff. Seems Scott Motion is going to be at South by Southwest at South by So Wasted. What? Yeah, might not uh, go. I thought I was gonna go. What's what? Who's gonna go? I was thinking I was gonna go to South by, and then now I'm, I'm Thanks wondering. Hey, where uh, where does somebody have a? Hold on. Chimera says, "Please meet your future artificial biceps." MIT researchers at the David H. What? Koch Institute what? for Inter cancer research have developed a new material that changes its shape after absorbing water vapor. 
This material is made from an interlocking network of two different polymers. One forms a hard but flexible matrix that provides structural support, while the other is a soft gel that swells when it absorbs water. Together, these polymers create a material that converts water vapor to energy without the use of an external energy source. When the 20 micrometer thick film is exposed to moisture, the bottom layer absorbs the evaporated water, forcing the film to curl away from the surface. Once the bottom of the film is exposed to the air, it quickly releases the moisture, causing it to somersault forward and People start saying, to curl up this once is worse more. Than the spider. <laughs> Discover not only does it need a very small amount of vapor, but it also demonstrated a large amount of strength. Using only water this vapor as an energy disturbing. source, I'm the sorry. film can lift a load of silver wires ten times its own weight. Harnessing this continuous motion could drive artificial robotic muscles or generate enough electricity to power small electronics. Wow. <laughs> Is that oogie you out? <laughs> they look so real. It's so real. Hang on, let me just make sure this thing plays. And if it does... Hey! Recording works! Hey, there we go. Right on. So I'll just go ahead and upload this original. And then we'll go ahead and call it a night because we got to get... Uh, I have to be asleep in an hour because I got to be at the or leaving for the airport in what, six hours? Six hours. Uh, soon. Hey, are you gonna be able to sleep? Maybe. Like, what's your like? Uh, you like for reals can't sleep on planes. Well, it's a mixture between can't and won't. <laughs> ah. Because it's such a useful time. You can do so many things on the plane that like like I'm never gonna be in an environment where I'm just sitting there with my mind to myself oh dude. and so it's like it's so useful you don't work out though see that's what working yeah. out time is is that's yeah like in fact i i swam uh i'm training for a triathlon he says while drinking beer um all right is this are you chasing me off is this go time no oh i'm okay it's farting around oh okay <laughs> i thought you were sending a code there uh like i swam uh uh the, the one part I'm weakest in on the triathlon, like I've, I've biked 50 miles, so I'm not worried about biking 24 miles. Uh, I've, you know, I've run 10, 11 miles, so I'm not worried about running six. But uh, swimming that 1,500 meters is effing huge, like just the hardest thing in the world for me. Uh, and so, and the worst part is like to train for it, you have to over go the distance. So today was the first day I did 92 lengths. I did, uh, I guess, what is that, like 20, 20 to 50 meters, 2,200 meters or something. Mm -hmm. It was a long time. But what I'm saying is I had a lot of time to think to myself that whole time. So if you work out, then you could sleep on planes. Because I'm going to sleep on this MF and plane tomorrow. That's for damn sure. There's going to be some sleep on this MF and plane. That's right. Why is that? I want these awake, conscious thoughts off. This MF and plane. This MF and plane. <laughs> Amazing. Um, is this is this it? Um. Uh, like, get out. Is this Getaway's first plane flight? No, 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 no. He's uh, this what your fourth fourth gig now? Fourth or fifth? Yeah. So anyway. you know got, everything, right? You got, got the gig. Done. The hey, showdown, Pat. You no, know, do you know who I might get to meet tomorrow? It's looking really good. Uh, um, you, pro you probably don't care, but somebody in the chat room will. Uh, out in Oregon, my show is only an hour north from where Dan Carlin of Hardcore History podcast lives. Oh, so Hardcore History and uh, and and Common Sense. Um, I think I've talked him into coming up to have lunch with me, which I'm really really stoked about. Yeah, Lonely Dog Geek is there for. Wow, him. he's gonna drive an hour up to. To hang with me. To hang with this guy. Oh, Ask dude. him about Caesar, you know, the uh, dictator. Yeah, it's, well, it, it's pretty rad. And if you if you listen to, like, he, talk, he was talking about in the recent Common Sense podcast, he got invited uh, by some, like, four-star general to, to take part in, like, a think tank on how to improve stuff. And so he's, like, he's looking around. There's, like, famous, like, senators and stuff who's... <laughs> He knows, and then four star generals, and then him, him, yeah. podcaster. And it just like on his title, it just says Dan Carlin, podcaster. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, he, he, I don't know, was, I can't wait to, to, to drill him on it because yeah, that's like an amazing op opportunity. Would, yeah, would there be any, um, any, 
uh, you know, I, I don't know. Could you get him on a scam school or anything else like that? I'm so worried just about talk that. to him. I mean, well, that's just like I, I, I mean, it's weird for me because like I'm genuinely a fan of his stuff. I think he's got a real talent for storytelling, and I think his take on history. I normally hate history, but he makes me love it. Uh, and I really dig. Uh, his uh, common sense podcast because the one thing he does is guarantee that he, eventually he'll get around to pissing off everyone uh, and there are times I've been super pissed at him and then there have been other times I'm just like wow that's brilliant and I agree uh, and so so I'm going to have a hard time turning down my inner fanboy the entire time but I think that uh, yeah I think that uh, it'll be a really awesome time Woo! Uh, ben me, Franklin just, asks me, hold uh, on Oh yes, uh, go let ahead. Let me just recap. Uh, so you're gonna have to turn down your inner fanboy in order to drill him very hard. That's yes, that's <laughs> what I said. How high did your rocket, did your ship, rocket go ship take you out? before you got totally baked? <laughs> this is did, a this is an inside joke. I don't know. Yeah, dude, have you ever you ever watched Heat Vision and Jack? The uh, mm. the Ben Stiller produced, Owen Wilson voiced, Jack Black starring, uh, show Dan Harmon created created what? What did you know? Okay, think I about haven't seen this. this. All to, uh, I think we can see the beginning of it. I think oh, that's fair. Dude, it, it is the quintessential '80s movie. It's Knight Rider mixed with Incredible Hulk mixed with Six Million Dollar Man. Mixed with uh, night, yeah. Hello, America. I'm Ben Stiller. <laughs> now, now, think about this. This is 1998, I guess, right? Uh, an alternate reality. Jack Black, Owen Wilson, Dan Harmon, Community, uh, Ben Stiller directed. Ben Stiller's wife's in it, uh, and it's like it's amazing. So it starts off with this whole uh, like they even they even did everything on film. And they did the special effects the way they did back in the late 70s, early 80s. That radio is turning green. You're not supposed to be green. <laughs> That man had sparkles in his face. Jack Austin, astronaut. Exposed to inappropriate levels. I've of... seen this. Makes him the world's smartest man. I know everything. I want that brain taken out. Heat Vision, the motorcycle with the mind of Jack's unemployed roommate. <laughs> I remember this. Blocked at every turn by adventure. Like I was Ness. Now let's just power for real. So good, dude. It's so good. Uh, <laughs> Did it become a real thing? Well, they, this is the pilot. They did a whole pilot. Uh, it's only the pilot. It was it, in front of everybody. And I, have it. I can't see the road when you talk. Worthless monkey or Frank. <laughs> All monkey slots shall be absorbed. <laughs> So anyway, they find themselves at adventure. Oh, I thought you were going to spoil the ending, Brian. No, dude, I yeah, mean... sorry, totally am going to do that. When I got oh, back, okay. extensive testing revealed that my brain had expanded. Expanded? Apparently the human mind is not unlike cookie dough. <laughs> Mine was baked by the sun, causing it to rise, increasing its cognitive capacity. This tastes really now good. I'm three times smarter than the smartest man in the world. And NASA would, of course, confirm this. You're not listening to me. NASA is evil. They have a man tracking me down. A very dangerous man. His name is Ron Silver. Like me, a former astronaut, but also a gifted actor. And a cold-blooded killer. 
Ron Silver, huh? Say, let me ask you one question, Jack. Uh-huh. How high did your rocket ship take you before you got totally baked? <laughs> Good one. Sheriff's office. There's only one moment uh -huh. you need to see, and that's the important part. Uh-huh, I'll be right there. Looks like this could be your alibi. Someone just trashed a motel room out on Highway 7. Room was registered to a Mr. Bob Paragon. Be careful, Sheriff. I love Paragon gun. is not yes. of this world. Yeah. <laughs> you know him? No, but I saw what you saw at the diner. If you find another pile of ash at the motel, you'll know you're in over your head. And I'll come back for you, right? Oh, I won't be here. Come sunrise, I'll be so intelligent, no cell will be able to hold me. Oh, well, uh... So, <laughs> doorknobs, remember? Wait, there, there's only one moment you need to see. Oh, Brian from six. What? I'm jumping to the next one. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah come on, okay. you great big ball of gas. Light my darkest hour. Some prostitutes? Exactly. That would yes. be one there. Oh, wait, no. The bad guy from Time Cup. You're the kid. Okay. You were a bad guy in Time Cup. If that technology I existed don't outside of comic books and rap music. Uh, all right, here we go, right here. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. So what happens is, is whenever sunlight hits him, he becomes the world's smartest man. Super smart and awesome, and everything's awesome after that. Uh, it's amazing. Heat Vision and Jack, you gotta watch. <sighs> but I gotta go. Okay. So long, suckers. Hey, um, do, uh, wait. What? Chad? What? To, how should I send you this file? Should I post? I'll post it at the place. I don't know. I'm not an editor anymore. Send it via DVD through the main system. <laughs> I need a videotape. General, oh, oh a quiz. You can both be Ripple. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The first three episodes are all you need, Jay. Like you, you nailed it. <laughs> a bunch of baby ducks send them to the moon. So the machine that doesn't work, send it to the moon. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I did. I. <laughs> It's amazing. So Regular show. Oh, okay, look, if you want to be on the same page, because Jay and I, uh, hey, what do you think of Jay and I doing a podcast together? We're talking about doing one, uh, we'll call it Bro Time. <laughs> bro, bro stuff and the other bro. How about Start Bro and the Bro? Bros between the sheets. Bro, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we'll call it Whoa, Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Two Bro, whoa. Two Bro, whoa. Two what? Bros, bro. <laughs> Maybe that's Bro Schwood. Broshuda. Broshuda. Yeah, Broshud. <laughs> they want a manga called the BJ Podcast. <laughs> we can show clips of the BJ band, Jay. Do you remember? Hey, hey, I have no shame in the BJ band. Uh, you know what we should do is we should play my original uh, demo reel that you made for me uh, a decade and a half ago. That had uh, that used that same music as uh oh the no, Mr. yeah use this same yeah. music this right here wait wait that music uh, yeah 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 <laughs> what is that that's the crystal method oh method but I when I was in 1998 99 Brian oh, dude. you gave me like 400 bucks or something I did. I gave you like some uh, cash. Yeah, yeah, to uh, make you like a. a okay, bad hold on. People, people are requesting I play one video for Chad of you and me drunk at four a.m. <laughs> uh oh, have you seen this, Chad? No, I have not. The the thermite experiment. A uh, little bit. No, I saw uh, the thermite stuff that Brian was posting earlier. Yes, yeah. but this was two days after Bonnie had given birth. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was flying out of town. And uh, uh, and we decided so to have like. I stayed up late, and we we're it was three a.m. and I was like, "Oh man, my only regret is that we didn't get to light the thermite." And so at three a.m. we we're like, "Dude, let's do that thermite thing," and uh, this is what happened. Is that thermite? What is? That's why is it tilted? A hand of some variety. Why is it tilted? Yeah, it's unfortunately uh, sideways video. We don't, have, we don't have the technology to flip it. Out. Hey, it, it wasn't like that when we watched it the other night. Oh, no, it was. You were just drunk enough you couldn't tell. Oh. No, okay. oh people are quoting what, what Bonnie said in her texts. I need to, you guys. <laughs> duck, 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 fuck, yuck. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. So is that a bag of thermite? A little bit. A little bit is a bag. Of, yeah, it's a bag of thermite. Don't look, Don't look directly at this. Don't look directly at this. I say, helpfully. <laughs> As you can see, smoke in front of them. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, well, well. Shh. Hush. Hush. Guess oh, that was the dog. Fucking. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> what does it say? Look, you may see. <laughs> Hello, random instant flame. Is that oh my god! Amazing? That is crazy. Now look, look, it's fucking balls. Oh, okay, okay, I can't play my. I gotta, I gotta mute my video or my audio. That is fucking hot lava. <laughs> That's hot lava. I don't know if you heard That's that. That's hot lava. I drop this on it, it'll fucking explode. Okay, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> you got some dirty mouth, Brian. Apparently at 3 a.m. when I'm setting thermite on fire. That's all I do. Uh, hold on. Let me see. All right. So, oh, uh, yeah, that's here. Yeah. This is a little NSFW, I guess. I think we need to do it again. <laughs> I think we need to do it again. <laughs> Up again. <laughs> Dude, feel how hot that shit is. Okay, okay. I can't I can't play any of this. It's me cursing nonstop. And then we definitely pee on it. Uh <laughs> we smelt that penny. Hold on, I ain't doing it to get to this. <laughs> oh, we smelt Boy, the penny, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Dude, look at that fucking penny, okay. bro. Oh, you can't, even have, you can't even have. You can't even smelting the penny. Smelted. Whoever smelted dealt it. Some <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, kill it, kill it with fire, make it in. Okay, peace right, out, bye. everyone. Bye, guys. Bye.